Bonjour friends! Today we will be painting the living room and my office a neutral color. If you're new here, when we purchased our home, all the walls were lavender. So I've been repainting every room, going room by room. I've been using the same color throughout our home. I'm using the Bare Ultra Paint Interior Eggshell in the color Palais White. Okay, I'm going to start painting now in what was, I think, their dining room, which is probably going to be my office. That's what I'm thinking about using that area for. And excuse the internet stuff over by the window. I am going to be painting in the living area as well. Excuse the things in the middle of the room. We kind of put everything in the middle of the room so I could paint in here. So let's get started painting. Fun, fun. Normally I always trim the room out first, but the trimming has been taking me so long and I've been painting every room in the house. So I just wanted it to get done a little bit quicker here. So it seems like it goes a little faster when you're rolling and the trimming out always is a little more time consuming because I'm trying to be careful not to get it on the wood trim or the wood ceilings. And so, yeah, so I just went ahead and rolled it first with one coat and then, then I trimmed it out and then I went ahead and rolled a second coat. <laughs> to the right with only one coat and then the left side here you can see I have two coats done so it's covering much better with the second coat so I'm just gonna keep going okay now that the living room is all done I wanted to set some of the furniture in place and start decorating so I've moved this cabinet against the wall now here in the living room and we can start getting ready to decorate it but first I wanted to paint the inside of the cabinet. The back has already been painted so I'm just going to be painting it with this white paint to brighten it up inside because it just feels like it's really dark inside and since it was already painted I don't feel bad about painting it. My mom painted it I think uh, years ago. This cabinet was actually my great grandmother's cabinet and it was passed down to me from my mom so she actually uh, gave me permission to paint it. I made sure it was okay first before I started painting it. I just um, wanted to get her opinion. And of course she thought it would look much better as well just to lighten it up inside so that when I do decorate inside that things show up and it's not so dark inside the cabinet. So that's what we're doing here. I'm painting it with this mud paint that I already had on hand. This is furniture paint in the color Simply White.
now that the cabinet's all finished, it's time to decorate. So let's decorate the top of the cabinet first. I want to put this large basket up here first. And next, this French basket that I have, and I've just put a plant inside of it. And I want to use these brass swan book ends in the center here. Coming down now to the first shelf here, we're going to decorate next. And I went ahead and plugged in the little candle lights that I want to use on the shelving. And I ran the cord through a hole that I have here in the back of the cabinet that was already there. And so we're ready to decorate the next shelf. So I wanted to find something that I could hide the cords. And so this is a larger piece. I thought I could hide the cords really nicely with this little French market wooden box and it has a lid on it here. So we can decorate on top of there next. I'm going to put these little plants up here. And then next to that, I want to put this little antique gold metal bird up here by it. I want to add a little more greenery, so I'm going to add this lamb's ear wreath to the back here. It's just a small one, so it fits in there really nicely. Next, I want to add this little house that I picked up in France for five euros, it looks like, and uh, got that at an antique store in France, and I want to put it underneath glass, so... I'm going to put it underneath glass and then I'll add it to the shelf. love houses and I love European architecture so I have collected some of these houses and we are going to decorate with them today. I decided I wanted it raised up a little bit higher so I went ahead and added this metal antique gold stand underneath as a riser. Next I'm going to add a decorative book here because I also want to use that as a little riser as well. And I'm going to add another little house on top of that and a glass cloche over the house. Okay, moving down to the next shelf now. I want to use these wood corbels as bookends. So I'm going to move my first one up here and then I'm gonna get my books to put inside and what I'm trying to do is disguise that cord from the candle light but I do love decorating with books And then it looks like I'm going to have to move my candle over a little bit so I can fit the other corbel on this side of the books. And there we go. I can probably move it to the front there. There we go. Next, I want to add this antique picture that was handed down to me from my mom. And it was made to resemble the Last Supper. I hope you can see the picture okay because there's a really bad glare on the glass right now. I think it really is adorable picture. I love it. Be 
you can see the age by the wear and tear there on the picture. Okay, I'm just going to move that into place now and set it inside the cabinet. Lean it, I'm just leaning it against the back. And it has, the cabinet has this nice uh, piece of wood here that holds plates or pictures and things so they don't slide down and, and fall. Next, I'm just gonna add this doily onto the shelf. There we go. I want to add some more little books now. And another little house. And a glass cloche on top of that. Next, I want to add a little riser. And then I'm going to add another little house on top of that. I love the rounded top door on this one and the round turret. And then just another glass cloche on top of that. There we go. And then I'm just going to add another little house. Now we're going to decorate this last shelf here in the cabinet. I decided to add another candle light on this bottom shelf. And uh, I just thought it would be nice because I already have the candle, a little bit of candle light on the other two shelves. So I thought this would be nice to have a light down here as well because this cabinet can get, it seems like it's very dark inside and it's hard to see the things that I have inside this cabinet. That's why I decided to paint the back of it a lighter color in this white because it's so dark. But I am having to cover up that white background a little bit just to conceal the cords. So I had to add this picture in the back here to conceal the cord that I ran up. And then I also had to add this little wreath here so that I could conceal the cord that's running all the way up to the top here, to the uh, top shelf. I went ahead and added this little nest here and the faux plant back here. And uh, so I made a few little changes just as I stepped back and looked at it, I felt like it could use that. So sometimes you gotta play around a little bit to um, figure out what looks best and I also, changed this I changed it from over here moved it over here to this side I felt like instead of the houses being on top of each other I thought that looked better diagonal from each other so I moved the houses over to this side and I think that looks better so and I do like how the little candlelight helps light up the picture in the back and that picture is also concealing the cord as well and so now that we've got our little candlelight down here and our picture's concealing our cords, let's go ahead and start decorating this bottom shelf. And let me know if you think that if I should paint the rest of the inside, like the shelves and uh, the sides um, to match the back, just so that things are a little bit brighter and can stand out a little bit more because, well, you'll see when I shut the doors, it does get a little dark inside this cabinet so you can let me know what you think about that but let's go ahead and get started decorating this bottom shelf now i'm going to add some more decorative books here to the bottom shelf and then i just want to place the sheep there on top 
next I want to add this small riser back here because I want to put this faux plant on top of there. Next I want to add another little house down here. And there you can see a little bit better. So I'm adding that and I want it to be diagonal from my other houses. Next, I want to add this head planter. It's a full plant inside of it. is without the wreaths on the door. Let me know if you like it with the wreaths on there or without. to wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and come back and see me again next french friday until then au revoir